What is the best mouse for CSGO? Which pro gamer should you copy? What if you copied the most used mouse? After the most recent IEM Cologne tournament in CSGO, I spent an unreasonable amount of time going through all the players and listing every mouse they used. That's all 120 players. I checked what was already logged, then went through event photos to make sure the information is correct. This video does contain some very fun facts. You could use these at parties, I'm sure it will light up the room. The information won't include colours, and if someone is using a Zowie mouse, I'm basing it on the model, so anyone using an EC2-A or B, I'll just put down as using an EC2, because there's just too many. First, the Razer Viper V2, a mouse that came out on May 10th, 2022. Its objective was to become the big cheese in the mouse market. With the highest tier sensor, switches, wild performance and more, this surely was going to be the mouse that's worth a sniff from many CSGO players. The amount of players using it at this event? 4. Cloud9 Snaphany, Complexity Grim, Furious Art and Liquid Nitro. Needless to say that it might be a bit of a disappointment for Razer but it's early days. There are some other mice that are only used by 4 players also, the regular G Pro Wireless, the Extrify M4 Wireless and the Final Mouse Starlight 12. Now let's take a look at the more niche mouse choices from the pros, those that showed up to the event as a essentially mouse hipsters. The following had only one user. From Team Complexity, G Wolves Haiti M used by JT and the Glorious Model D Minus Wireless by Junior. The Logitech G403 being represented on the big time by Bimus from Mouse, the man has taste. Razor Death Adder Elite being used by Hampus from Ninjas in Pajamas. Steel Series Prime used by the tournament winner Carrigan from FaZe Clan. Steel Series Rival 300 by Fur from Imperial and the Zowie brand section of individuals, Mopoz from Movie Star Riders using an FK1, Attacker from Tai Lu using an FK2, Zowie EC3 used by Slowly from Tai Lu, Nico from G2 using an S2, <laughs> FNX from Imperial using a ZA11. For me the most surprising mouse on the hips list has got to be the Death Adder Elite, mainly because I thought it was hot garbage and it also weighs 105 grams by far the heaviest mouse on this list. Could this be definitive proof that it's not the mouse, but the player? And the latest and greatest isn't the key to success? Nah, keep buying mice, I'm sure one will make you good, you nerd. Another interesting brand on this list is Vaxi, a company that started up in 2020, have 10 players using their mice, so they have an 8.5% market share of the player base, which is the third most and quite respectable for the time they've been around. The most commonly used mouse of theirs is the Vaxi Outset. The other big name is Zowie with a 24.8% share of the player base. Zowie have been around for years and have previously dominated the CSGO scene. Out of the 29 mice of theirs that are being used, 18 are using the EC2. This mouse is mainly just known as an ergonomic beast, it's super comfortable and reliable. Once your hand touches it you'll hardly ever have to move it so it's no surprise that it has a big share of the usage. But now we move on to the king, Logitech. Years ago I would say that their mice would be a bit of a rare appearance on the list like this, but ever since the G Pro Wireless came out there has been no stopping in their domination. They held a whopping 51% of all mice used at the Cologne tournament, with the Superlight accounting for 46% of the total mice used. There's only one other Logitech mouse that was used that wasn't a G Pro Wireless or Superlight, and that is as mentioned before, Bimus using a G G403. I wonder if he'd be interested in a, a wireless G703. I modified one so it's lightweight, you could buy it from me. Now you may be thinking this video is getting a bit too much fun, I hope it doesn't get funner and I'm sorry but it is going to get wild for the remaining parts. Here's some extra fun facts. There were no teams where all the players had a Logitech mouse on them, however there were 4 teams that had 4 out of 5 players using a Logitech product. Navi, G2, Pain Gaming and Big. Very fun fact that was. The next fact is even funner. There was one team where every player was using a different mouse all five using different brands and that team was Complexity. JT using the G Wolves Haiti M, Junior using the Model D Minus Wireless, Floppy using the Super Light, Grim using the Viper V2 Pro and Fang using the Zowie EC2. Surely the high diversity of mouse choices must have had an impact on the tournament. It did, because they finished last. The fun facts don't stop there, every team had at least one Super Light user on it, apart from one. 
In fact, this one team didn't have any Logitech users at all, and that team was Vitality. Four out of five of them are using Vaxi mice, with one using a Zowie mouse. So in the grand final, seven out of 10 players were using a G-Pro Superlight. So with this information, we can conclude the following. The Superlight is the safest choice when it comes to selecting a new gaming mouse for CSGO and other games. The level of comfort it provides, high performance, and the simplicity of the product just makes it a no-brainer. And clearly, all the best CSGO players pretty much use it. And you too, with using the Superlight, could become one of the best as well, but unlikely because you're bad. Now take a deep breath and enjoy watching this other video that will show up on your screen now.